And so I give thanks that even though my plane broke into three pieces as we landed in San Andres, the casualties were few and the survivors are safe and sound. Thank you, sir. Um, sir, it is your great skill and cool that makes you a hero. Now, uh, the captain will take questions from the reporters. Uh, I have a question. Yes. Uh, <laughs> you in the back row? Yes. Um, yes. How can this man be called a hero? Okay. <laughs> uh, excuse me, who are you? Uh, I'm Tully Tullenberger. Uh, <laughs> um, yeah, just a quick question. Uh, I, I, I think hero might be a bit much since one person died, I don't know. <laughs> There's something I'm throwing out there. She was 73 years old. She, she had a heart attack. Please, please allow me, look. Uh, I want to say that I'm saddened by any loss of life, no matter what the cause, and I am but a man doing what he's trained to do. I am no hero. I, I'm glad he realized that, because really, I mean, if you think about it, a hero doesn't let people die. I mean, <laughs> say a hero would probably do things like, I don't know, uh, crash land a plane on the Hudson River saving 155 people's lives. <laughs> okay, that's it. Um, I, I don't mean to be rude, but you're not Tully Tullenberger from the Hudson River News. That's not even a real paper. Uh, you're clearly Captain Chelsea Sully Tullenberger, the hero of Flight 1549. Guilty as charged! <laughs> Tell your sister I said hi. <laughs> yes, it's me. I got the glasses bit from uh, Mary Kate O. We were at the Cheesecake Factory in Sherman O's the other day. <laughs> anyway, she told me wearing big glasses, people wouldn't recognize you, but when you're a hero pilot, you know, can't help it. You won't have to worry about that. <laughs> Respect. I think you're being unfair to the captain. I mean, he saved 130 people. But that is true. Congrats. <laughs> <laughs> is that good at all? It's not as good as saving 155 people's lives. <laughs> Little tip here, something to write down, put on the blogs, maybe on, you know, some kind of website or something. A periodical, if you will. Um, if you're going to be a hero, don't kill any of the people you're trying to save. <laughs> But I killed no one, okay? The woman, she had a heart attack, and the plane was brought down by wind or lightning. Weather? What the H, man? <laughs> that is BS. You know, here's a newsflash, Kimosabi. Pilots are trained to fly through weather. You try flying through a flock of geese, those effers are a bunch of D-bags. <laughs> K-L-H, Sully. K-L-H. You just watched the H me in Spanish? <laughs> What's the H? Uh, yes, I did, and you, how dare you come into my country, my effing country, and you have the bees to tell me that I am not a hero? Huh? What the H to you? Really? <laughs> hey, at least I didn't break my plane up into three pieces. <laughs> I kind of brought her down in one piece. Maybe something you should strive for in the future, oh, Kimosabi. Yes, well, it's very easy to land your plane with some nice, soft water instead of the hard ground like I did. Oh, you think water's soft? Yeah, it is when I'm taking an S into it. Oh, <laughs> stop it! I'm gonna hit you in the air! No, no, I will hit you in the air! No, no, look, no, look! No, no. Fellows, please! Between you, you have saved 185 people. You're both heroes! You're right, you're right. Sully, I'm, I'm sorry that I get so worked up. I am honored to be in the presence of a true hero. I too, fellow hero. Really sorry. Kind of flew off the H there. <laughs> but, you know, it's how it gets. This whole hero world, you, a lot of pressure. Ask my good friend, Lindsay L. She knows. <laughs> I think that uh, after you have crash landed a plane and saved 155 lives, you have the right to act like sometimes a silly goose. <laughs> what did you just call me? <laughs> a goose, Sonny. You are a silly goose. Uh, you son of a bee! What the <laughs> hell? <laughs> <laughs>